Welcome to the Applique Elements Studio. First of all, what are Applique Elements? Uh, these are designs that are made out of fabric. They're all laser cut and they're already pre-fused with Steamaseam 2. So all that you have to do is peel the paper backing off of each component and position it where you want it. And these pieces are repositionable until you fuse it. When you have everything set, you uh, fuse it in place with a steam iron because it is steam a seam too and uh, you could also use a spritz bottle and a blow dryer the items can be adhered to glass to wood to burlap canvas fabric just about anything that you could use an iron on you could fuse an applique element to we do have a full catalog the catalog is free to download on our website but you can also have one shipped to you for a small fee. One of the first things I like to do when I open up a pattern is just lay the pieces out to make sure that I have everything and so they're a little easier to assemble when I get to it. Um, all of these pieces were not going to fit on the top of this box. I knew that from the start. So I'm going to use the medium and large flower on the top of the box and I already uh, fused the smaller flower on the front of the box just to get a head start on here. So I'm going to go ahead and position some of these pieces in place, but I wanted to show you just how easily this is to do. The fabric is all laser cut, so you get really beautiful sharp edges. It all has the Steema Seam 2 fusible backing already applied to it, and there is a paper backing on the back, and all you have to do is peel that paper backing off, and these pieces are positionable, and repositionable so they will stick in place um, and you can move them around up to the point that you fuse it and you could fuse it either with an iron or with the blow dryer so I'm going to go okay I've taken my time to position all of my pieces on here the paper on all of the pieces have been peeled off but I can show you again uh, also I'll show you this if you have trouble getting the edge of the paper peeled off you can also score it with the back of a pen or a seam ripper. That also helps protect the edge of the design so that it doesn't uh, fray a little bit. But these are all just placed on here and you can see I've overlapped a little bit and I don't want to do that. So I can reposition these pieces until I get them where I want them. I don't like that overlapping either. So. Maybe I'll rotate this one more time. There, now I have that where I want it. And all I have to do is put these last few pieces in place by peeling off the back of the paper. And I have a couple leaves left. And I think I'm gonna put these on the, this side. I am changing the pattern up a little bit to accommodate my project, which is perfectly fine. Where did I put my needle again? Oh, there it is. If you ever have a problem peeling it, you just score it and it peels right off. Now all of these pieces are still repositionable at this point. But what I'm going to do now is use a pressing cloth just so I don't uh, curl up any of the pieces on there. And I'm just going to fuse this with the iron. Because we're doing this on wood, I don't think it's as important to spritz it with water like I normally would. And I would be taking a little bit longer to fuse this in real time, but for the video purposes I just want to show you that this gets fused in place with the iron or with the blow dryer. You cannot over fuse Steam Seam 2. Um, if you're using this on a sewing project and you over stitch the top of it, the, uh, if you're getting gumming on the needle, that's an indication that you haven't fused long enough. You cannot uh, fuse the Steam Seam away, so you can't overdo it. Just to illustrate how this process works on fabric as well, I have the poinsettia pattern that I'm going to put on this store-bought canvas bag. Uh, the pattern's going to fit really good on this one so I don't have to make any adjustments. 
I always like to iron my pattern first just to make sure there's no wrinkles on it. But in this case, I'm not going to actually use the pattern underneath the fabric with the light box because the canvas is so thick. So I'm just going to set that aside and use it for a visual reference. Also, all of our patterns come with uh, instructions on how the whole process works. This pattern also could be ordered separately just as a paper pattern if you wanted to do your own uh, fabric using the traditional uh, needle turn applique. And many, many of our designs are also available in SVG files, which means that you can download those and use them with a Cameo Silhouette or a Brothers Scan and Cut machine and use your own fabric, fuse it, and uh, use our design to cut the uh, fabric out. So I'm going to move the camera in and show you just how we get these pieces in, but I'm going to go ahead and put some of them on just to speed up the process. Because of the time constraints, I went ahead and put some of these pieces down. I'm just going to show you the last few pieces. Uh, as I said before, the pieces are all laser cut and they're pre-fused with steam seam 2. So all you have to do is peel the paper backing off of each of these pieces and then position them in place. They are repositionable because they have a tackiness to them uh, until you fuse it uh, permanently in place. So we have these smaller petals down to the bottom. Do I have that right? No, this goes up to the top. I want to try and get this on correctly. Okay, I'm trying to get that on the stem and it's not even supposed to go on the stem. Okay, so we have that in place. Then I've already peeled the paper off of these two. Oh, nope, that doesn't go next. Now I'll see if I can get it to stick. Well, I'll stick it there. We have this funny octopus looking piece. So this will take me a second to figure out. And I think we have it. That's pretty close. Then we have our two center dots. And I've already scored the backing on our poinsettia leaves. These will be our finishing touch for the outside. Once I get this in place, I'll go ahead and fuse uh, this down. But on this fabric, I am going to use uh, some uh, mist on there because I don't think I have any water in my iron. My iron's dry. So I'm going to use the mister and spritz this because steam seam does require moisture to activate the adhesive. So we always want to make sure that we use uh, moisture on here. This could just be water in the iron or it could be a, a mist bottle. Either one would work fine. Again, this does have to be fused with uh, moisture or steam. It's steam a seam too. And if you find that uh, when you're quilting over top of it later, you're getting gumming on the needle, that means that you have not fused long enough when you had this in place. Some of these pieces that have multiple layers, like the center of the poinsettia, if you were on a single layer fabric, you might want to flip it over and iron it from the back as well, just to make sure that the heat gets all the way through. Now, I'm not ironing this as long as I might do if I weren't recording a video, but I just want to show you what the process is like. Uh, once this is all finished, then um, you can go ahead and use this product. This is washable, machine washable, and a machine dryable. Um, you may get, after many, many washings, a soft edge, but the pieces are all permanent when fused properly in place. We do not top stitch any of our samples, but we do quilt over our quilts. That's just a matter of personal preference. Um, so that just shows you just how easy it is to do a project. This could be great for make it and take it. Uh, kids could help with this as long as they're old enough to use the iron. Um, it would they make great gifts for uh, Christmas or the holidays uh, really just about anything and um, 
that just shows you just how quick this and easy this product is to use. So it's just peel, place, and press. Just that simple.